Many people who are interested in changing their diet and lifestyle often have this all or nothing approach. They want to change everything at once. And I don't believe that this is something we should strive for or even attempt in the first place. I believe in a step-by-step -step transition. So today I want to share with you my five steps for transitioning to a raw vegan diet and lifestyle. The first step that I basically always advise people to do is eat fruit only for breakfast. I started with this over six years ago. Basically the last six years I had always had fruit for breakfast only, no exception. And during the night our body goes through detoxification processes. So this is why it's also better not to eat too late. So the food doesn't sit in the stomach. The body can really, you know, have a deep sleep and also focus on detoxification. And that process continues in the morning. So when we eat something heavy in the morning, like bacon and eggs or bread or something many people eat, then this process stops and it just doesn't really help the body. It doesn't support the body in this detoxification process. But when we start eating water-rich fruits in the morning that are easy to digest, that have vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, they have, you know, all of the good stuff, especially structured water, it helps you know, clean our body out in the morning. It helps hydrate out our body in the morning and have a fresh start every day. So this is one of the biggest changes and I always tell this to people to do this. Start off with eating fruit only for breakfast. A common issue that comes with it is people say, well, I eat fruit and then right away I'm hungry again. Well, first of all, most people are not used to the sensation when people are used to eating heavy foods, processed foods, animal products, whatever they are eating usually. All this stuff is much heavier. It has a different sensation in the stomach. Fruits, on the other hand, they are water rich. They are lighter. They are easy to, to digest. So first of all, they don't remain as long in the stomach. That's why people often quickly get hungry again. And people are not used to eating bigger amounts of food, bigger volume of food. So just to start off, eat as much as you can for breakfast. And if it's just two bananas or a couple oranges or some grapes, whatever you have available, ideally locally and seasonally grown, just eat that, one fruit, or make a fruit salad, if you will, and eat as much as you can. And then if you get hungry quickly, that's fine. If you want to eat something else afterwards, that's fine. But just to start off, stick to fruit and just feel into the difference. Try it out tomorrow, try it out the next breakfast and do it for a couple of days and notice how your body changes, how your energy changes when you start fresh into the day. The second step is already quite a bit bigger and a little bit more difficult to implement. And that is getting rid of all processed foods and junk foods. I have to say there is a difference between processed foods. Not all processed foods are junk, I would say. We cannot compare a fast food burger or something that we get from a fast food restaurant chain uh, and compare it to something minimally processed, for example, some whole grain flour you know, that is pre-processed. Technically, they are both processed foods, but it's, it's a completely different story. So what we are here talking about mainly is the junk food, the, the really heavily processed foods, canned foods, foods that have additives, that have chemicals, that have preservatives in them. Really starting to look at the ingredients list in the supermarket, ideally all of it, all of it, what, everything that it says on the label, you know what it is. First of all, and then you can go a step further and, you know, get only make all your food at home. Don't buy any processed or prepackaged food that is ideal. And this step can already take, you know, a couple of weeks to implement. This is not something that happens overnight. This is why I always say this. It is a step by step transition. These steps can take for some people, they manage it in a couple of days and they are able to stick to it. And other people take a couple of weeks and sometimes months to incorporate these steps. Not, we are not talking about just doing a diet or just, you know, changing our diet and changing what we eat. This is 
a change in how we approach our life. This is a lifestyle transition, a lifestyle change that we are going through. We cannot undo our habits and our lifestyle that we've been living for whatever, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, however old you are. It takes time to unlearn, to uncondition, unprogram ourselves and to incorporate these new habits. But this step, getting rid of all the processed foods and junk foods, this is absolutely essential. This is a non-negotiable. If you really want to create better health and feel your best, this is absolutely a must do. The third step is going whole foods plant-based. So getting rid of the animal products. After getting rid of the processed foods, we get rid of the animal products and eat a whole foods plant-based diet. There is not really too much to add to the step. Really, it is self-explanatory. It basically means, as I said, getting rid of the animal products and moving towards eating a whole foods plant-based diet. So just to recap quickly, your meals throughout the day, if you're eating three meals a day, can already look like this if you follow the steps one step at a time. Fruit for breakfast, you're already eating that every day at this point. And then for lunch, you have a whole foods plant-based lunch. And again, for dinner, the same, you have a whole foods plant-based dinner. This is how it can look like already in step three. So let's move on to step number four. And this is going raw till four. Raw till four essentially means eating raw foods only until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So essentially eating breakfast and lunch, making that only from raw foods, either fruit or a raw salad. And then for dinner, we move on again or we, we stay at the whole food plant-based option. And so just to explain it a little bit further, there are two different approaches. So some people like to eat fruit only throughout the whole day, so for breakfast and lunch, and then have a whole foods plant-based dinner. Some people also like to have fruit for breakfast. That is, for me, a non-negotiable. This is absolutely essential. But then for lunch, they can also have, instead of fruit again, they can have a salad, a raw salad from greens, herbs, nuts and seeds, veggies, all of it. All of it is, is, is possible. And so there are these two options. Fruit, salad, whole foods, plant-based dinner, or fruit, fruit, whole foods, plant-based dinner. This is step number four. And then step number five would be essentially to try out a fully raw vegan day. And again, this can be fruit, fruit, and then a salad for dinner, or it can be fruit, salad, salad. This is, you know, it depends on how active you are, the needs your body has. I know a lot of people who thrive on eating fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, and then salad for dinner. But I also know people who have fruit for breakfast and then they have a salad for lunch and a salad for dinner. It's, it's both perfectly fine. It really depends on how you feel your best. There's no right or wrong way to do it. What I want to add to this whole discussion is that it's not all black and white. It's not, oh, now I have completed step one. Now I'm <laughs> moving on to step number two. It's, it's not a linear uh, journey that we are on, but it's actually fluid. You know, sometimes on some days we might feel like eating fully raw. On the next day we might feel like eating, incorporating some chickpeas with our salad or some simple cooked foods. You know, this is what I, what I did over all the years that I was uh, transitioning to raw vegan. I had long periods where I was fully raw vegan, especially when I was living in the tropics. And when I'm sometimes in a colder climate, like in a climate where I have less fruit available and most of the fruit is, is shipped from far away, especially during winter time, I feel like certain simple cooked foods make me feel better than the bananas that are coming from thousands and thousands of kilometers or miles away. But it really depends. Experiment for yourself on your journey, feel into what feels best for you and then stick to that. There is no one solution fits all situations. It really depends on the environment you're in, the food you have access to and the lifestyle that you live and want to create for yourself. Whoever out there is telling you, this is the only way to go, this is the approach that you need to take, 
Nah, stop listening to these people. You know, I'm the first one to say, I don't have all the answers. I'm sharing what feels best for me. So, and I'm sharing how I do it. And if you feel drawn to it, I'm inviting you to try it yourself, to experiment with it. I'm here, I'm happy to, to help you, to support you. And, and then you just stick to what feels best for you. Keep what feels best. And what doesn't feel good, you just leave it out. So we are not following any strict dogma or ideologies here. It is really about e expansion, about learning something new, about trying, making new experiences in our life and growing that way. This is the best way, in my personal opinion, to grow. Instead of taking something as the, the truth that I read somewhere or learned in a video or that some other person shared with me, Yes, if it resonates, I'll try it out. And if I feel great with it, I stick with it. And this is how we grow in our life. This is how we can empower ourselves and build an amazing life. So if you're interested in getting more support from me, there are a few ways on how I can help you. So first of all, you can join the Intuitive Health newsletter where I'm sending out weekly deep dives on diet, health, mindset and lifestyle. Also, you can download the free Satisfying Salads ebook where you can learn how to create your own delicious salads and you will also get a few of my favorite dressing recipes on top of that. And I'm also inviting you to join the Intuitive Health Academy. We have our private Intuitive Health community in there where you can connect with like-minded people. We have weekly Q&A calls to answer all of your questions. And on top of that, you can also get access to the online learning portal with a full 12-week program to ensure a smooth transition for you towards a whole foods plant-based diet or a raw vegan diet and lifestyle if that is your goal. So I'm here to support you. Make sure to check out all the links in the description down below. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.